Now we don't want it to start here. Well, we do want it to start here, but we don't want to start our keyframes or end them here just yet because our same thing, our animation text, our animation for the opacity starts and ends about there. Just keep that in mind or else you won't know where to look when you're animating your camera or your null object. So we're going to do that there and now we're just going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to use the Y rotation and find it. There's the U out there. See it right there? And then we're going to move in. Our select tool is already selected, already active. Zooming in. Let's add it the Y rotation again. And moving this way. And we're moving on in. Let's actually zoom out a bit. By the way, you may notice these particles down here. What we're going to be doing is actually cutting those out so they don't generate all through the clip. We'll do that at the end, though, when we enable the glow as well. Take care of that at the end. Zoom out just a bit. And move it so it's a little more centered. And there you have it. Now we can drag these keyframes back as we did before. Pretty much repeating the same process to the beginning of that layer. So now we got this, anything, and it goes across. And then should start to animate, pulls away. And goes straight to the U where that animates on. And that is pretty cool. Now, there are many other things we can do. But now we got to take care of the want. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to drag it past the timeline just a bit. And we're going to move forward. Let's say we want it to go to U. That ends animating. And we want that to stay on just for a second. So yeah, I'll move my want layer out a little bit more. Got to give room for the camera movement in between that little gap. And I'm going to set another keyframe for both. And I'm going to hit page down on my keyboard, move up just one frame. Hit another keyframe. So those values stay the same. And then at this point in time, now we start animating to the end. And just so that I'm not looking at nothing, I want to know where the want layer is. I'm going to move past it. And I'm going to edit my Y rotation. Where is the want? Where are you want? There it is. Found you. All right. Now we're going to zoom in. Again, just this is all on the null object layer. It makes camera animations really smooth. Again, we're just going to mess around with the actual Y rotation. Drag the position of the null object. And just zoom in a little bit. And then we're going to pull down a little more even. And let's go ahead and check this out thus far. So we got our this can be. It animates up there. And then that animates over to here. You and want. All right, that pretty much takes care of the tutorial, but there is one other thing that I promised I would show you guys. Um, if you come down here, let's unlock our particles layer, and we don't want it to generate all the way through, so let's go through our animation, anything, at the end of anything, <coughs> excuse me. About there, it really doesn't matter. At the end of anything, I want to have the particles end, stop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the hotkey, Control Shift D, to duplicate the or uh, yeah, to uh, split the layer. It duplicates it, but it splits it at the same time at that very point on the timeline. And so now I hit Delete, and the particles layer that we split, our original one, is still there, but it ends where we split it. So now not only are you going to render faster, but you're not going to get any unwanted particles in there. Uh, in this case, for that effect, it made sense just to get rid of it after we used it. So uh, that's that. And the other interesting thing, of course, is if you go here and you click this little button, this enables motion blur. And then if you turn on motion blur by checking these boxes for our text layer, when the camera moves, After Effects will generate a motion blur for everything. So let's see, it goes to anything... And you'll see it creates that awesome looking motion blur. Pretty, pretty nifty. And there's want. And uh, this is obviously a really long timeline, but, you know, make it as long as you need it. Make your projects as long as you need them. So, uh, 
guys, this concludes my tutorial. Uh, my name is Graham, as always, with Tutorial Clarity. I hope you enjoy this effect. I hope you put it to good use. Drop me some questions if you have them in the comment bar. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, please, and uh, take care.